Hey guys, welcome back to Faith with Flavor. Today we are going to drop a new beat for your enjoyment. It's called Prayin' and Flexin', and it's by a, a power couple who use their talents to glorify God. I'm talking about rappers Deuce and Enigma. This dynamic duo is here to tell us all about how they began their romance and their dynamic careers in the music world. But first, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I recently went to Orlando to attend the NRB convention. Take a look at all my adventures on this Orlando vlog. Hello, hello, beautiful people of the world. I'm so excited to be here at the NRB convention. This is my second year that I get to come. And you know, last year was amazing because last year is when I found out that I was gonna go to Israel for the first time. So I'm coming here with an expectation that I believe God is gonna meet us here and just take TV and Salsa to the next level. I don't know what he has in store for 2017, but I'm here ready and willing for whatever he has. I'm wow, excited. it's a beautiful, humid day out here. Look at that pool. And I didn't even bring my bathing suit, bummer. Good morning, everyone. So today is the first day of the NRB convention. I am so excited to be representing TV and Salsa once again this year. And we're here in Orlando having a great time getting to know everyone. But today is the first day, so I'm gonna go downstairs so you guys can see what everything's about. But before I do that, I just wanted to show you guys this amazing view. Check it out. Hi guys, I'm so excited to be here at the NRB convention. Check out the TV at Salsa booth. So many people are coming over and visiting saying hi to the salsa jars because you know they're a hit and we are just meeting lots of incredible people here hey guys look who i found at the nrb convention it's george vasquez with the revolution tv tell us about your program that's our show it's a, a show that interviews amazing people that had life-changing stories when they met jesus and so we've been part of the tbn family tbn salsa and juice for many years and we're so thankful for you guys that uh, have kept us on the air sharing the gospel through these amazing stories so catch us uh, the revolution tv.com and catch us on TV and Salsa every week. Thanks. Good morning, guys. We made it to day two of the NRB convention. I'm a little tired. I had a long night. I attended a pitch panel last night where a lot of people pitch their uh, show ideas to me or movie ideas. So I'm a little drained, but I did get up this morning and go to the gym, so I feel a little energized. I'm just gonna go downstairs, grab some coffee, and head over to the salsa booth. So I'll see you there. Hey guys, I'm here with Jeannie Ortega Hi. from Salsa. She's hosted for us before. What do you gotta say to the vlog? We are at NRB. Yes. This is amazing. There's Christians everywhere doing incredible things for the Lord. So, you don't have to be here to do incredible things for the Lord. If you're a Christian, you have Christ living in you, you have His Spirit to enable you to do incredible things. So go out there, be a blessing to someone, and share the love of Jesus. Amen. So, hi guys, everyone say hi to the vlog. Hi. 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 And you guys just learned about Salsa. What do you think so far? Sounds awesome. Yeah. Hi. Yeah? Pretty impressive programming and modifying sauce. Woo, right. yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you guys from? Greenville, South Carolina. And you were telling me how much you love salsa. Why do you love salsa so much? Oh, uh, well, it goes on my tortilla chips. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't like the runny stuff. You like... No, no. It has to have like onions, cilantro, the whole shebang. And they all come together to form an amazing flavor known as salsa. Faith with flavor, you guys. Woo! I gotta come visit my friends in Israel at their booth. Hey guys, it's the last day of the NRB. It was such a successful year this year. We met so many amazing people that are doing great things for the Lord and really are here to just inspire and use their gifts and talents in a way that glorifies God. And so it was awesome. Today's the last day. I'm about to check out of my hotel. I just wanna give you a, a quick reading before we go downstairs. Let's go. <laughs> We're here in Orlando. We're very excited. We've met some great people. God is doing amazing things. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to have lunch. 
the NRB conference is over. Why are you being weird, Jonathan? <laughs> and I just met somebody that has never had a bazooki in his life, Caesar. Caesar, you've never had a bazooki? Never, I don't know what, I didn't even know what it was. <laughs> You're gonna have one today? A bazooki, is that something what, like a sandwich? It's cookie with ice cream, everybody knows that. No. Yes. I didn't know that. Look at how good that looks. Yes. <laughs> Yummy. How does that taste, Caesar? <laughs> really quick for my audience. Look guys, it's a bazooki. I'm about to eat it oh all by my myself. Gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye Orlando. So long, farewell. I really hope you enjoyed hanging out with me in Orlando. And now, without further ado, let's meet today's guest, rapper Deuce and his wife Enigma. Hi guys! How you doing? How welcome you doing? back Deuce. Thank Enigma, you, thank welcome you. to the show. Thank you. So glad to have you guys. Um, you. Deuce, you've been here before. Yes ma'am. And you dropped a really cool beat last time. <laughs> <laughs> but this time you brought your wife along. Yes ma'am. I love it. I love that you guys get to do ministry together. What is that like? Everything wrapped in a little bundle. It's <laughs> awesome. It's fun, challenging, tough growth, mm. everything, everything. but it's a blessing overall. Mm. That's so awesome. What about for you? Same thing, just lots of growth. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if I did it by myself, I mean, you could go at your own pace, you know, but with us doing it together, we just grow so much faster. I mean, we have to, you know, really stay at the Lord's feet, you know, That's in good. order to get things done. Amen. So. Amen. Well, let's get into the questions. How did you guys come to know the Lord? That's the first question I want to know. How did you come to he, know the Lord? Um, well, I mean, for since I was little, I mean, uh, I grew up in faith-based home. Uh, went to Christian school until I was in sixth grade. And so I always knew about the Lord, but I really didn't know the power of Jesus. I really didn't know that power. And then he ended up getting saved. And, you know, I was like, okay, cool. You know, we're going to go to church. You know, that's cool. You know, but... Then uh, his lifestyle was completely different. He threw away his chains. He threw away everything that had to do with the world. And I was like, okay. Then, you know, him wanting to pray for hours, I was like, wow, <laughs> this is new. I've never really seen this except for my mom. And so he was like, you need to go, you know, come with me to church. And so then I went and I really gave my life to the Lord. And mm -hmm. ever since then, I've never gone back. I've tried to. There was times I tried to go back in the world and fit in, but... The Lord, I was miserable, completely mm -hmm. miserable. My desires well changed and gave the Lord everything. And here I am. <laughs> and what about for you, Deuce? Oh, it was a roller coaster <laughs> from partying, drinking, everything, everything that you can do and imagine. I was doing that. I wasn't raised in a church home, it was more of we, you know, my family went to church maybe once every three months. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know, it's just, you know, my friend preached me the gospel one time and was just like, yo, heaven is real, you know, hell is real, Jesus is coming back. And this is like, I'm getting ready to go to a club to perform the next day. And um, I don't know, I just felt God tugging on my heart. So I was like, you know what? I've never heard or felt God tug on me like that. Gave my life to him in 2008 and it was just a, a radical, change and um it sounds like you guys experience the damascus road experience you experience mm -hmm. like the real born again like the word of god says like when yeah. you become born again you're not the same you're a new person a new right. creation in christ yeah i was actually working on a project because i was a rapper in the world too i was working on a project just got done we put so much into it that night that i gave my life to the lord came back home trashed it Wow. Didn't think twice about it or anything. And that was like my heart's desire in the world. That was my idol in the world, was music, mm. to go tour the world and do everything. And But that was the first thing, trashed it. And didn't even plan on doing music for the Lord just because, you know, or like my wife said, rapping about Jesus, you know, like that wasn't cool 10 years ago. Yeah. Right. You know, it wasn't a thing. There was no Christian hip hop circle at that time, you know? So yeah. 
Um, I threw it away and was just like, well, I'm just going to live for Jesus. Only example I had was my grandma. It wasn't like a fun, you know, I was like, this is going to be boring, but who would have thought going to church would be this much fun? Yeah. I started reading the Bible, having a blast by myself <laughs> reading, you know, and I came to know real joy, real peace, real love, you know, so. And that's the cool yeah. thing about God is that he takes your desires because they're there for a reason. They're that's not just true. there yeah. to be dormant. Mm -hmm. They're there because he placed them there. He takes your desires and then he creates something beautiful out of them and uses them for his glory. Yep. Right. Amen. That's so awesome. Yeah. Now, I'm dying to know how you two met. I l I'm a very romantic person, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, how did you guys meet? What happened? <laughs> so <laughs> we met uh, through my sister. Uh, they went to school together. And we met, and we were not living for the Lord <laughs> at all. Mm -hmm. You know, and I knew what I was supposed to do, but uh, it was just the pool, the world was so new for me. Mm -hmm. That's why I enjoyed it, you know, because it was new for me. You know, the Bible says that sin is pleasurable for a season. Yes. You know, but um, so that's how we met. And, and uh, so we were dating for a while, but I knew in my heart, like, this is not going to last because just the lifestyle he was living, you know, mm -hmm. just with the going to clubs, performing at BB King's, you know, just you know, trying to live that life. And I was like, this isn't going to last, you know, but I'll enjoy it while it lasts. That was just my idea. Mm -hmm. Horrible. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but um, so all of a sudden he calls me and he was like, babe, you know, I got saved. And I was like, wow, you know, okay, you know, great. You know, but then, you know, after him getting saved and seeing his life change and everything, then we really, you know, and me getting saved, then we really just, you know, tried to focus on the Lord and the Lord just kept us together. And what was it like for Deuce, for you, Deuce, like when you saw her for the first time, what, what was that like? Um, Cause we weren't saved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This was, <laughs> it was before we knew the Lord. So yeah. right. it was um, worldly, you know, like yeah. we were, you know, partying and all that stuff. And, um, but I don't know when I seen her, it was, I don't even think I was sober at the time. <laughs> <laughs> But we, you know, we ended up keep seeing each other because we were um, mutual friends, me and her and her sister. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we just became friends. And of course, you know, she was gorgeous and it just, you know, just happened. But when we were together, like she said, she didn't think it was going to last. I didn't think it was going to last because, you know, I, we were both in the world. I was yeah. chasing the fast life. She was, didn't think it was going to last, you know, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. So what do you think kept you guys together? Like what? Why, why did that happen? How did that happen? Only Jesus. Amen. Because I, I ended up getting saved March 25th. And then that's when I, I called her and was like, yo, I gave my life to the Lord. <laughs> what are we going to do from here? You know, like, but if it wasn't for the Lord, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have lasted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. So only and, Jesus. And now you guys have two beautiful children. Two kids. Two What's kids. it like being parents? Uh, it's, it's a huge, huge blessing. I mean, you learn so much about patience and so much about mercy and just how much the Lord loves you. You know, when you look at your child, you're like, you get on my nerves because <laughs> of the things you do, but I love you so much. You know, I mean, there's nothing you could do that would make me hate you. You know, I'm always going to love you. Yeah. And it just, you learn so much just about yourself. You know, they correct you. <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, it's, it's a blessing. It's a huge, huge blessing. And what about for you, Deuce? What's it like being a dad? Everything, she said, challenging, um, but you just, it helps you through life too. You know, when, the, when the, the troubles of life, the struggles of life, you can just look into your kids. They don't see struggle. Mm -hmm. They don't worry about how bills are gonna get paid. They just are joyful, looking at your face all the time, just full of joy, you know? Mm -hmm. So um, it, it just brought a different love um, it just brought a different love to me, you know, so. That's so awesome. Mm -hmm. Now, Deuce, when I met you, you were already rapping. <laughs> mm -hmm. But then I found out Enigma was mm -hmm. rapping with you. Like, how cool is that that you guys get to partner together mm -hmm. and do ministry because you guys travel all over the world mm -hmm. with your music. Right. How did that come about? Was it something that just kind of naturally happened or did it take some time? Like, how I did that happen? It. He made me do it. <laughs> I, didn't, I really did not want to. I was like, no, I just, you know, I'm just going to be on the sidelines just cheering But you're you so good at it. Why wouldn't you want to? Because for me, I was, I don't know. I just was like, Lord, me seeing other Christian artists and just their pride, 
and I was like, I don't want to be that mm. way. You know, I was like, I was more fearful because I was like, Lord, I don't want to get, not all of them. Just rap in general. Just rap yeah, yeah, in yeah. general. Mm. But even with some of the Christian artists, I was like, I don't think I want to do this. Just because I didn't want to get lost in the hype of yeah. it all. And I was like, I'd just rather just stay on the sidelines, Lord. You know, I'll just keep them in prayer, you know. <laughs> I just, that's what I wanted to do. But the Lord just had such a tug on me to do it. And he was like, just do it, just one song. And so I was like, okay, you know, and I did it. And, and then the Lord just gave me that desire to do it, you know, but Aww. I never wanted to really pursue it, but the Lord just opened up that door. Well, and, and the, the way you get rid of pride is through prayer, right? So that's why you guys came out with this new single called <laughs> Praying and Flexing, right? <laughs> so now I'm gonna take you guys through this song. It's called Praying and Flexing. Take a look at their newest single. Praying, praying, flex, flex, praying, praying, flex, flex, praying, praying, flex, flex, praying, praying, flex, flex, praying, and fasting and stay in my Bible. Ooh, ooh, bless, bless. They bless, seeking bless. that money, we came for revival. Ooh, ooh, bless, bless, you bless. cannot stop them, that ghost is inside them. Ooh, ooh, bless, bless. He died for our sins and he rose on the third. Flex on my life, now I'm free as a bird. Repent of your sins, he sends out the alert. He's holy, he's righteous, he's awesome, superb. King of the heavens and king of the earth. Created the seeds and created the birds. He made it from dirt, they know not who I turn. We ain't scared of no threats, we ain't scared of no text, we ain't scared of no witch, we ain't scared of no hex. Lord is my shield, you can't touch me, I'm blessed. Seeking his face is the way that we flex. Preaching his word is the way that we flex. We flex in the spirit, don't flex in the flesh. The end of the world is coming and they stressing. But the saints, we fall on our face and we... Brain, brain. Surrounded on all sides, but we are not stressed. In shadows of death, we will not become vexed. Casting out demons to free the oppressed. Bind up the strong man and plunder what's left. No wallet the devil will curse what is blessed. Submit to the Lord, but never the flesh. Whatever you want, Lord, you know that is yes. The Lord is my strength, so you know that we flex. Pray, pray, flex, flex, pray, pray, flex, flex, pray, pray. If you just started tuning into the show, that was a look at Deuce and Enigma's latest single called Prayin' and Flexin'. Woo! I love Amen. it. Amen. Amen. You guys are awesome. What a power couple. Praise I love 
powerful couples coming together and doing ministry together and doing what God has called them to do. You guys, you can tell that you're walking and you're calling in your destiny. So that's really awesome Amen. to Praise see. God. So let's talk about the song a little bit. What was the inspiration behind it and the music video? Like, tell me about it. Give me some insight. Praying and fasting. Amen. Um, it was a birth out of that. Wow. You know, just, you know, once we were, you know, I was, I was on a fast and just heard the beat and I don't know, when I, when I hear it, it's just like, war music, you know, like Amen. war music in the spirit, you know, like this world is bold. They're flexing their beliefs. When you cut on the TV, you cut on the radio. Why does the church have to be quiet? Like, no, you know, we're going to pray, you know, we're going to flex. Flexing is preaching the word, you know, it's, it, it's, it's fasting, it's praying for people, it's being bold for Jesus, you know, so Amen. it just came out of praying and, and fasting. I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that you said warriors, you know, and we are, we're the army of God and Amen. we need those weapons to fight Amen. against the wiles of the devil, the Amen. word, prayer, fasting, all of those Amen. things, that's so powerful. And that's one thing I pray too, for the, for the, especially that song, all my music, I always pray that it would stir people up, stir the believers up and impact the world, you know? And when I hear that, it stirs me up, you know? And it, yeah. before I go pray, I'll listen to it and then go into prayer, you know? So, you know, that's where it came that's from. That's so good. And it, it's like also too, like a good workout song. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I love working out, you know, because <laughs> the Bible says we got to take care of our temples, yeah. right? Yeah. So it's Maybe. nice to have like a good beat to run to or something. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. True. Now, where did you film that, that music video? An abandoned warehouse <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. We had to crawl through a hole. There wow. were pigeons flying around. Wow, it looks intense yeah, from the video. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was so intense. Yeah, it was, was, pretty, like, it was pretty wild. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. And what about your part, Enigma? Tell me a little bit about your part, because you were kind of talking really, really fast. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no problem. Um, just mine. Same thing. I was just on a fast, and uh, you know, it was just war. You know, warring against this, the. You know, to also to to kind of have Christians focus on realizing that our enemy is not other people it's the devil mm -hmm. you know it's it's the you know just like the word says we wrestle not against flesh and flesh and blood you know so I mean uh, just really trying to and also to let people know like there is a real devil out there yeah you know, we, we need to be praying we need to be fasting we need to make sure we're staying in our word you know so I mean that's really where it came from just praying and fasting and being in the word Amen. So, yeah. And I love that you guys are married. I love marriage so much. I'm married myself too, and I love my husband. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> but um, let's talk about marriage for a little bit because I feel like, you know, that's one area where like the enemy just really tries to get in and destroy families. What, what has marriage taught you about yourself? <sighs> so much. Um, it brought out the selfishness in me that I didn't know was there. Um, the 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 love the drive to make me do more than I thought I can do to provide you know um, everything everything and from even just I don't know all areas all areas. Wow, what about you, Enigma? Um, it let me know I thought I was a patient person, but then I realized I wasn't a patient. Person. <laughs> <laughs> I need a lot of work. Um, same thing. I, I I thought I was you know like oh I'm not that angry. I didn't realize I was an angry person, you know, and I really, marriage really purges a lot of things out of you, you know, because when you're just, like I said, when you're single, you can work at your own pace, you know, and, but when you're married, sometimes the Lord will have somebody there to kind of push you a little bit, you know, mm -hmm. so I mean, it's, uh, for, you know, for the better, you yeah. know, all things work to, together for the good, you know, so I mean, when you're serving the Lord, you yeah. know, so I mean, it's, uh, it's lots of growth, mm -hmm. lots of growth, growth and it's a blessing. You're around another human all the time, right. you know, so there's no avoiding somebody, you know, it's going to cause you to grow. It's going to cause you to go deeper. Right. You can't run away from your problems. You know, right. it's going to teach you how to face problems and to sit down and talk. It's going to definitely teach you one of the biggest things I think is forgiveness, Amen. you know, how to forgive somebody and keep going and um, everything. You're, it, it, it definitely is growth, you know, Amen. definitely growth. Amen. Deuce, I want you to do me a favor and look mm -hmm. into the camera for me. Maybe there's a marriage out there that's a, a woman or maybe a, a male mm -hmm. that's watching and they're struggling in their marriage mm -hmm. and they're about to call it quits. Would you just encourage them right now? I want to encourage you. The Lord is our counselor 
and put your trust into the Lord, not into man. You know, sometimes if your friend, a pastor, somebody may not have time to counsel you, take everything to the Lord. He doesn't just want your, your cheers and your praise. He wants your hurt. You know, sometimes you're bitter at your spouse. He wants you to take that to him. Sometimes you're angry, you're frustrated. Take it to him, take it to his feet. Um, that was one thing that, that, that just revolutionized our marriage. We took everything to Jesus. We didn't trust in man, we just took it to the Lord. We would close the door, even if we had to go pray in separate rooms. And there was times where I would go back and apologize. Why? Not because she told me to, but because the Spirit spoke to me through prayer. Mm. And um, don't quit, you know. Um, the Lord brought you together. He says what um, God has brought together, let no man separate, mm. not even you. I want to encourage you just to keep pressing, keep trusting God, because it says lean not on our own understanding, but in all of our ways acknowledge the Lord. Mm. And He'll bless you. He'll bless your marriage. And the reason that you'll go through it is so you can be in a seat like this one day, speaking into somebody else's life, you know, and, 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 and you giving your testimony. So I just want to encourage you, trust God's word. That's what it's all about. It's about not following our heart, following the word. Amen. God is cheering you on. He loves you. You can do it. Don't quit. Keep going. <laughs> Amen. Well said. Now, real quick, if someone would like more information on your ministry or maybe they want to check out your music videos, where can they go? Um... You can just type in Deuce, D-U-2-C-E, on iTunes, YouTube, Instagram, and it's all there. Amen. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for being awesome. here. And thank you at home for watching Faith with Flavor. I'm so excited that you tuned in. If you have a comment about today's program, please email me at lifewithdonna.com. And remember, if you're married, that two are better than one because if one fails, the other will pick them up. God bless you, and I love you. I'll see you next time.